Hey guys, Dennis are here with another action figure review. This is Obi-Wan Kenobi Spirit version from the Star Wars The Original Trilogy collection. Let's have a look at the figure. So as usual, I'm being semi-conscious about the uh, using the knife there to get underneath the packaging there. Doing this method, you can kind of keep packaging in good condition. Basically, I'll just do this quickly. So now that when you want to, if you want to re-display this figure, you can keep it nice and clean like that. So what you get is a base, right there, and the O1 himself. O1 comes with a lightsaber, which is kind of pointless considering he is already dead. So, uh, yeah, it's not a very good um, blade, to be perfectly honest. It's one of the ones that are either older or basically just a Luke Skywalker uh, one that's been given a blue blade. Um, the other one itself, mine's got some uh, bleeding blue eyes. Um, so I'll need to use a knife or something to uh, get to focus. Sure, it's taking its time about focusing. There we go. You can see his eyes like tear dropping a bit there. So if you want to get rid of little issues like that, you can just take a knife and just carefully pick that away. I do it on camera, but it's easier to do this at an eye point and then show you because this often happens with little figures. See, a little bit better. Anyway, so this figure isn't super articulated because obviously he is uh, plasticky. So he has some swivel arms with some swivel elbows, uh, some swivel wrists perhaps, yep. This one might need some hot water to pop it around, and the head's uh, just a swivel as well. I imagine the waist swivels, but this plastic cloak is in the way, so it's kind of hard to do. And the legs move forwards and backwards, but it's completely redundant as an idea, as he's already, you know, solid as he is. Um, just for uh, the sake of uh, showing you this, the this is the Yoda and the Obi Wan. Uh, figure stands from this and they appear to be exactly the same. I have no idea what the R2-D2 one looks like and I don't think there's a way of joining these two together but the idea is that when you get the Luke Skywalker at Dagobah you get this one where he can do his handstand and then you just hook the uh, I think it's the branch where was it it was yeah it was this little piece here to that and it just hooks on like that so I don't know if you can do that with this piece as well. Uh, it doesn't seem to be, yeah, it's exactly the same as the Oda one. I was a bit skeptical um, and I might research the R2-D2 and see if it's worth getting him as well so you can have a bigger land mass for Dagobah, I suppose, but uh, yeah, not much point. Um, for comparison's sake, that's the uh, older uh, Power of the Force uh, Obi-Wan, which I do have, which um, came with uh, Anakin, and Yoda, but this one's obviously much better, much more like the film with this glossy look, but it looks more ghost-like. It seems to be the best way to kind of uh, show the detail there of that particular character if you wanted a decent ghost Obi-Wan is uh, basically what I'm saying. Um, and finally, here's uh, Anakin, uh, Hayden Christensen version, and he's uh, again, has got the same sort of glossiness to him, but he's got a... Um, a weird mesh gold cloak, uh, Jedi robe, which I don't think works very well. Might be better to just get rid of this and give him a normal robe, but yeah, it's kind of cool for what it is. It looks more like Governor, is it Governor Snook, the new bad guy emperor? But uh, yeah, so uh, here's a look at that figure. I uh, hope you enjoyed this very quick look at this particular Obi-Wan. 
um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video review.